this is the shaded area. This is the center of the circle given as O. So PQ is given 24 centimeter. PR is given 7 centimeter. So we have two sides of this. Now the main thing is that in this question, QR is the diameter. If QR is the diameter, then angle in a semicircle is a right angle. Angle in a semicircle is a right angle. This you have done last year in class 9. So since this is the diameter, then this angle will be 90. So I can say that angle P will be 90 degrees. If angle P is 90, then we can use Pythagoras theorem. This PQ value is given 24 and this value is given 7. Therefore, apply Pythagoras theorem. 7 square plus 24 square is equal to QR square. This is going to be by Pythagoras theorem. So we get 49 plus 576 is equal to QR square. 625 is equal to QR square. Therefore, QR will be a root of 625, that is 25. So once we get QR as 25, the radius will be half of that, that is 25 by 2. Now look at the shaded area carefully. The shaded area is the semicircle minus the triangle. So that is half pi r square. Pi r square is the area of the full circle, so half pi r square minus triangle. Triangle is half base into height because it's a right angle triangle. So half into value of pi 22 by 7 radius we have found out as 25 by 2 minus half base into height so this is a right angle triangle so i can take the base as 7 and height as 24 or base as 24 height as 7 it doesn't matter so i'm going to solve this 2 and 11 this gets cancelled so 11 into 625 7 to the 14, 14 to the 28 minus, I can cancel all this, we get 84. Now I need to solve this by taking the LCM. So when I multiply this, I get 6875 by 28 minus 84 by 1. Then you will take the LCM 28. So 6875 will remain as it is. And 84 into 28, I will multiply that will give me 2352. So final answer 6875 minus 2352. So answer will come 4523 upon 28 centimeter square. So this is how we solve this question. Area of the shaded portion can be found. Area of semicircle minus area of the triangle. Moving on to the second question, question number two. Question number two. These are two concentric circles. What is the meaning of concentric circles? Circles with the same center, but with different radius. Two concentric circles. And you are having two radii like this. So this is the question. This is given O, this is A, this is C, B and D. And this part is shaded. The question is what will be the area of the shaded portion? So shaded area is the question. Shaded area can be found out by using the formula of Bigger sector minus the smaller sector by capital R square theta by 360 minus pi small r square theta by 360. So if you look at this figure carefully, the shaded area that is what we have to find out is the bigger sector that is OAC if you consider this full minus the small portion here OBD. 
So pi theta by 360, we can take common inside, we'll get r square minus r square, capital R and small r. Now it is already given to you that the outer radius is 14 centimeter and the inner radius is given 7 centimeter. So what we need to do is substitute now 22 by 7. What is the value of theta? Theta is given to you as 40 degrees. So we will substitute that 40 by 360, 14 square minus 7 square. 0 and 0 gets cancelled. Here I can cancel this 9 times. So here we get 22 upon 7 into 9. And here I can use the identity A plus B, A minus B, A square minus B square. You are all aware of this. So we get 22 by 63 multiplied by 21 multiplied by 7. So I can cancel off 21 goes 3 times. So what are we left with? 22 into 7 upon 3. And therefore, the final answer we can say is equal to 154 upon 3 centimeter square. So second answer will be 154 by 3. Now we go on to the next question, question number 3. So question number 3 is... A shaded area again it's a square so first let me make a square here and uh, there are two semicircles passing through the center of these this is one semicircle from here and this is another semicircle from this side. And they are asking us to find out the shaded area here. So shaded area, they have shaded this portion. Question is find out the shaded area. So let's name the square A, B, C, D. And what is given to us is that the side of the square is 14 centimeter. So this is 14 centimeter each. We know that all sides of the square are equal. So what will be the shaded area? That is the question. So from the figure, it is very clear that shaded area will be area of the square minus area of the two semicircles. Two semicircles means one circle. So shaded area will be area of the square that is side square minus two semicircles will make one circle that is pi r square. So this will be 14 square minus. Now the semicircle is having a diameter of 14. So radius is going to be half of that. So radius will be half of 14. That is 7. So we'll take the radius as 7 here. You will cancel this. So final answer, we get 196 minus 154. So we get the area of this shaded part as 42 centimeter square. Okay, so we move on to the next question, question number 4. The figure is given to us again. You are given a figure. This is a triangle. And here they are giving you a circle. Okay. This is given O, A, B, B and Q. And we have to find out the shaded part that is basically this entire figure. So the radius of this is given 6. Radius is already given to us 6 and it is given to you that this is an equilateral triangle of side 12. Now the total area has to be found out. The total shaded area has to be found out. So that will be area of the triangle as it is. Plus, if you see this circle, 
this is not a full circle it is a major sector area of major sector so i need to find out the area of the triangle and the major sector and add it up so it's an equilateral triangle so this angle is going to be 60 so the angle that will be of the major sector that is going to be the major sector here theta will be 360 minus 60 that will be 60 degrees 300 degrees sorry so here we can say 360 minus 60 the theta for the major sector is going to be 300 degrees now we know that area of an equilateral triangle if you don't know the formula the last year you have done is root 3 side square by 4 root 3 a square by 4 and area of the sector formula phi r square theta by 